I'm hoping you can help me. I really need your help. Right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Jay, welcome to the channel, hope you're well. So we're just out on the bike today, just a uh, bit of a local run. It's very windy, so I hope you can hear me all right. Hope this microphone's all right and it's not peaking too much. It's nice and warm though, but it's uh, very windy. But I suppose I am up on the tops. So you probably noticed I have got the Chiggy um, sat-nav system, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. So this is the proper BMW setup one um, that goes into the cradle, so it actually reads your main computer of your bike and pulls the information through so some of the information on there is being pulled straight off the bike and it's absolutely brilliant the only thing i don't like about it compared well i say i don't i've just got to get used to it i had the carpure ride one on which kept dropping out for some reason somebody gave, offered me a, a fix for that which uh, I, to be honest i didn't really try it um, I did turn the, the uh, it was about turning the VPN off on your phone and stuff like that and I get it completely get why why you would do that oh look at that down there in true crazy legs fashion I've just jumped in with my size nines and decided to buy the copy ride one probably because it was a little bit cheaper uh, but uh, using this chiggy one now I've just I've been I've had it on for about an hour or so I've tried it and I'm, I'm really impressed with it the vlog isn't about the chiggy unit although I just wanted to sort of showcase that off as well but the main reason that I need your help is for this right so I am thinking of doing a Q&A session um, and yeah I know you probably think I'm not big enough the channel it's nearly 3,000 subs help me get to 3,000 please uh, just sort of drop that in there but i'm thinking about doing a q a session for anyone who's interested um i do have particular followers um that comment quite a lot and do who are regular punters if you like who follow the channel religiously and that thank you guys for that i'm hoping you'll participate in it um so what i'm thinking of doing is if you can send me your questions what i'll do is i'll do a dedicated vlog to that but i'll just do that uh, like a Q&A session in the garage um, so I can have my laptop and look at the questions on the laptop as well God, it's warm up here. So yeah, if you're if you're up for, for that, that'd be absolutely brilliant So um, I'm asking for your help if you can help me uh, first of all to get up to 3,000 subs And uh, if you can also help me and provide me with a question silly questions won't be answered And if I get too many, I don't want to keep it too long So I will pick out the best ones as well good good structural comments or questions and if you just like to ask me anything anything you want don't have to be bike related it could be anything please do so because uh, it's it's really good to get that interaction and like i say i'll do it on a it won't be a live that i do it on it'll actually be a recorded video but i will go through the questions and i will get through as many as i can so if you can help me out guys that'd be 100 percent appreciated now let's get back to the ride so yeah, I'd be really appreciative if you could uh, help me out with that and uh, send me your questions and we'll have a bit of a Q&A session. I know it's, I know a lot of the big channels do it and uh, you know there's not really many small channels that do do it because who wants to start, who wants to ask a nobody like me questions but like I just said in that, that bit of film there, I have got loyal followers, people I consider as my YouTube friends and they, uh, they comment quite frequently. So we're just on the tops of Home Firthy area, I'm not really sure where we are. You know, it's a shame because a lot of these little roads here with these gates on, they used to be, I'm sure you used to be able to get access, but they're all sort of restricted access now. But yeah, you can't, you can't get on. There's a road that I've gone on before, just down here on your left hand side, mentioned it many times. I've not took this bike down yet, I will do. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to do that today because I can save that for another vlog when I when it starts getting gnarly and I fall off <laughs> but yeah that bloody wind's really picked up been quite lucky we had a bit of rain this morning but generally it's been quite nice 
so yeah there's some beautiful territory around here i went uh, i went on a ride just on the other side um last weekend with bry uh, peaky biker and some of the some of the roads up there chrome hill area i've only i've only ever got the chrome hill from one side but i just thought i'd try it from another side let's do a little bit of off-road that's the track the other one is up that way look this is not as gnarly well didn't used to be but uh let's uh give it a go a few potholes and stuff on this i just want to see what the roads are at the top um i think i always turn left when i get to the end of here but i'm going to try right but yeah this is a this is bmw territory isn't it or gs territory or adventure bike territory because i love all adventure bikes oh nice do you know it's amazing how much your confidence increases but certainly on this bike it's going to be a big one. Oh, I didn't put it in off-road mode either I have actually took some of these side roads on this stretch before as well and I've upset well not really upset people but a few farmers have not liked it because I've turned up on their property and that had to turn around and they don't like it oh bloody hell <laughs> but yeah this is a quite a nice stretch of stretch of road it turns into tarmac in a minute though do you know what I'm having some real grief with my ankle still since I had the surgery and I am trying to trying to train it out but you know when I stand up like that sometimes it, it, it just like gives me gives me a bit of pain it's never going to be right and it's all them years of kicking people in the head I think not that I'm a thug or anything like that but uh, it's more from the martial arts days there was uh, willing participants let's say <laughs> just watch the bloody bike as well oh well that's what it's for see so, yeah, I'm not sure where it leads when you turn right here in fact you know what no I don't swing a right it's really funny because I uh, I just live around here and so you've got that thing straight on but I think that's uh, I don't know if that's a trail or a dead end I'm not sure I'm not gonna go that way today stunning is it here absolutely beautiful so i've just got this uh, i don't know what this is here it's a, it is a reservoir but i'm not sure which one it is because um, there's quite a few around here to be honest and it's just nice that you can just get on and i literally it's probably five five minutes away from my house this but yeah how fantastic is this it's just absolutely beautiful you can just hear all the sheep in the background as well and there she is the stunning gsa And that's that chiggy unit. Look how small. Look how small it is, but it's solid and it sits inside. It's uh, it's it's better than that big screen. That big screen's really good, but I just think for aesthetics um, and being able to see the screen below it, it's a lot better. And then the trusted DJI 4, and I've got the DJI 4 as well on the helmet, and I've also got the uh, I'm on. This is the Pocket 3. This. And again, just giving it that uh, bit of a test run. Shall we get on the bike? Let's uh, probably start heading back now. Right, let's get back on this beast. What a stunning place to live. I am blessed. 
So yeah, guys, if you can, uh, if you can send me some Q and A, Q and A's. If you can send me some uh, some questions for my Q and A, that'd be wonderful. It'd be very much appreciated. And uh, again, if you've not subscribed, please consider that subscribe button. It all helps, and I am aiming to get to that three thousand mark. I think I'm about 153 or something off something like that so a big push if you've not subscribed and you are a regular viewer and I'm obviously not telling you to do that but if you can consider that that'd be fantastic doesn't cost you anything that'd be absolutely brilliant oh you just gotta love this road aren't you always pull out on you there but to be fair I've come down in the car before and it is quite quite difficult to see Oh, just a quick one before I go as well. Somebody just mentioned uh, one of my subscribers. I'll mention his name. You don't probably probably won't mind. Uh, Lee GSX. Uh, he's he just said to me. Just I'm sure it was him actually. It might not have been. I think it was. But anyway, they said about. Uh, I wish the videos were a little bit longer. It might not have been him. Thinking about it now, I think he said he liked the end credits. Uh, somebody else. I can't remember your name. I'm really sorry about that because I get quite a lot of uh, comments but they said about the videos being a little bit longer I aim for about between 12 and 15 minutes I always think that's probably enough to keep the interest but uh, if, if you think the videos are too short then just let me know um, I do get because the footage that I get is actually you know it could be a day's riding or a few hours riding at least and then it just gets edited down and I just try and put the the, the highlights in and um, so it just gives you well to build a story and, and gives you the flavor of of what I'm sort of been going on about so I hope you've enjoyed this little ride and me just rabbiting on and having a nice little uh, ride in my backyard and it'd be great to see you on the next one but remember guys doesn't matter who you are what you ride or where you're from because every day is an adventure Coming, I'm sure you can do more than 35 on a 60 road.